In this tutorial today, we shall be learning how to add and format text in Microsoft PowerPoint. First, open your PowerPoint blank template. Go to Insert tab, go to Text Group, and select Text Box. Click on the blank template and drag to the left or to the right, depending how you want your text box to be. You can resize text box from here, either to increase, to reduce, to widen, whichever thing you want to do with the text box. You can as well move the text box from one position to another. Click the text box and start typing whatever you desire to type. In this tutorial, I will type Microsoft PowerPoint add text format text. To change the font for all the text in the text box, click on the text box from the home tab, go to font group, click on the drop down. You can use any of the fonts in this place just as is applicable to Microsoft Word. I'll click on this to change font. For a line or a word, you highlight the text from home tab, click on the drop down. You can make any correction, right click, then you can choose and make correction within the text box. You can increase or decrease the font size. Click on the text box from home tab, you can click on this font size. Choose the size you want the text to be, or you can use this A, the big one, to increase the text, and the small one to decrease the text. You can as well format a line or word in the text box. You can increase the line alone or decrease it alone. To bold, Click on the text box, click the B to bold, the I to use italic, and U to add underline. I will remove the underline by clicking the U again. To center the text from the paragraph group, you can choose to center the text, to send it to the left, to justify, or you click here and decide if you want to divide the text box into columns. You can as well affect the changes within a line, highlight the text, click on the alignment you want it to be, and that alignment will affect only that very line. To change the text color, click on the text box, go to font color, click on the drop down, you can decide to change it to any color of your desire. And if the color you are looking for is not here, you click on more colors. You can use standard, as you can see it here. Or you may decide to customize your color. I will use blue for this tutorial. You can as well apply colors to a word or line. Let me center this as well. You can adjust the text box. Put your cursor here. You can rotate the box by putting your cursor here. You click, hold down, and rotate it as you desire. You can insert as many text boxes as you like. Click the Insert tab. Go to Text Box. You can copy from one text box to another. To increase the line spacing, click on the text box, click on the drop down, then you can increase or decrease the line spacing as you desire. To duplicate a box, 
click on the text box with Ctrl plus C you copy and Ctrl plus V you paste. You can duplicate it as many as you desire or you can right click, click, copy and then paste. You move it to wherever you want it to be. To add bullet and numbering, click on the text box, select what you want, whether to add bullets, let me extend this, or to add numbers, or to use the boxes or arrows, whatever you desire. You can affect all that within the text box. You can write on top of pictures. I click here, right click, and click on new slide. This has added new slide to us. From a search tab, I go to pictures. I select work offline. I choose the picture I want to use for this tutorial. I click on it and click insert. I increase the size of the picture. To add text on this picture, I go to insert tab, click on it, go to text box, then I can draw text box on top of this picture and I can write anything I desire on it. I can as well change the font color, increase the font size, position it wherever I want it to be, add number and bullets to it just like I did previously, adjust the text size and can add color to just a section of the text. So I hope you get some value from this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. Do share this video with family and friends. Have a wonderful day.